According to the state's Department of Agriculture, Trade, and Consumer Protection, in 2018, 638 Wisconsin dairy farms went out of business. Now, that is the most since records started to be kept in 2004. And experts say there were a number of factors causing that decline. Got milk? We're producing more of it than we ever have. And ag experts say that's the problem. We have too much supply on the market and it outweighs the amount of demand. It's a trend farmer Ryan Thrall knows is souring Wisconsin's dairy industry. When milk prices are good, what does the guy do? He adds more cows because he adds more cows or makes more milk. When milk prices are bad, we add more cows and make more milk because we've got to make money. And the oversupply is partly driven by the farmers themselves who have become so efficient at producing milk. We're kind of our own worst enemy sometimes. We're good at what we do, and that's kind of the downfall. Prawl is the fifth generation owner of Granite View Farm in Wausau. Hey, sweetheart. It's one of about 8,200 dairy farms okay. left in the state. Here's Laurel. A number that's dropped more than 600 since January. It's happening across the United States. Um, the issue is, is that, you know, in Wisconsin, the main agriculture industry is dairy. I'm doing this as a way to raise a family and teach my children how to work and show them what integrity is. But Brawl has had to turn to other forms of agriculture to support that family. The dairy industry is where my heart is, but it may not be the only source of income for a farm. And he knows he'll have to think toward the future to keep the legacy of several generations back. You have to try and move forward to make things more profitable. Now, in addition, ag experts say tariffs are also impacting the dairy industry. However, the bigger issue is the oversupply. In studio, Molly Kowick, News 9, WAOW. Right now, it's just a waiting game. Those who made the decision to keep the trails closed say that conditions like this are just not safe to ride on. Fire up your engine. I want to get out and ride. And wait. We're off to a rough start here. The Vilas County Parks and Recreation Department issued a memo Thursday saying it doesn't know when the trails will open. Our call is mainly based on safety. Um, right now, we don't have enough snow to make an adequate base. And that could drive up danger. Snowmobiles don't steer very well on, on frozen ground and hard pavement which we're developing here. If you take a look up through here where the trail is, um, you can see some real thin areas. There's not a lot of snow cover there. Mother Nature's cold shoulder is bad for business. Everybody in the Northwoods, you know, this, this is our economy. Hurting snowmobile shops throughout the area. We book pretty much solid for Christmas to New Year's week. It's one of the busiest. And as of right now, we're on standby. It's something you never recover from, you know. You, you can't recoup all that lost time. It's devastating to tourism. But riders know. I'm excited. Hitting the gas too soon could green light problems down the road. But I am, I've, I've learned to understand that you just can't worry about Mother Nature. However, this bump in the trail isn't throwing a wrench in the whole winter. And it's early. We, we haven't lost the season. In essence, we're about a week down is all. The Vilas County Snowmobile Alliance will evaluate the trails daily or weekly, depending on the weather. In studio, Molly Kowick, News 9, WAOW.